All right. So let's talk about the next level of complexity, which are called high spin and low spin complexes of transition metal complexes. Elements with four to seven D electrons can have two different electron configurations called high spin or low spin. High spin has as many unpaired electrons as possible, while low spin has as many paired electrons as possible in lowest energy D orbital. And here's where we talk about uh, the two competing energies, which is delta zero, which is the crystal field splitting energy, and P is the pairing energy due to placing two electrons in the same orbital. And we've called this the electron-electron repulsion before. And what we're going to see is that when, uh, oops, uh, delta zero, the crystal field splitting energy is greater than the pairing energy. And these are both, uh, I guess to think about them, they're competing, maybe another way of saying it is energetic penalties, energetic penalties. So uh, there's going to be a penalty if we have three lower, and two higher for uh, octahedral, let's say. So if you have three electrons, then your choices are to undergo an energetic penalty for placing it in the higher energy level D orbital, or you can do a pairing energy energetic penalty. And if the Delta zero, the crystal field splitting energy is greater than the pairing energy, the penalty is greater, then electrons will pair. And you'll have what's called a low spin complex. And vice versa, if it's less than the pairing energy, that crystal field splitting energy, delta zero, then electrons will not pair and go into the higher energy. And so that would be akin to the fourth electron being placed higher up um, and go into a higher energy uh, D orbitals. And that is a high spin complex. So those will be our two choices. Let's see how this works. So we have a uh, we have uh, cobalt with a three plus charge with six uh, ammonia ligands, and it says it's diamagnetic. So determine the electron configuration, and if delta zero, the crystal field splitting energy, is larger or smaller than the pairing energy. And let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. So then again, we're building up our knowledge of this. First off, we know that this is going to be CO3 plus. And I'm going to do the CO atom over here. Just my way of doing it. And Right here, here's cobalt again. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three D electrons. That's going to be four S two, three D seven. Then the cobalt three plus ion is going to be argon. First eight, an argon noble gas core. Uh, take away two of those electrons, take away one of those, I've got 3D6. So the first thing is it's in that sweet range where there's four to seven electrons um, with six ligands. We know that it's octahedral. And we know that the layout is going to be octahedral right here. So three d orbitals down low, two d orbitals up high. Putting the pieces of the story together here, so one, 
two, three, four, five. And the spacing of these right now, uh, let's just draw them. We know that the crystal field splitting energy is here. And we'll do this as a low spin complex. And we'll do also, just for demonstration purposes, the high spin complex. And when we do that, we've got six electrons in 3D. So we're going to put low spin means one, two, three. First three are always the same. Low spin then says four, five, six. High spin would be the first three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what we can see is that with six electrons, the one on the left is diamagnetic which means it must be the answer. And so that's how you would test to see which of these two possible complexes you form is you would do it in order to see, uh, you would test whether or not uh, diamagnetic, remember that this diamagnetic species would be repelled by a magnetic field. And if it was the high spin, it would have four unpaired electrons, which would mean it would be attracted and quite attracted to a magnetic field. 